Scorpio gang and welcome back to Scorpio Chronicles. Ari, why the hell are you so loud? Why the hell aren't you the fuck? Anyways, welcome back to my channel. I do not like this lipstick. Oh, because you already know the vibes. You know it's Ari, a destiny advisor. Welcome new subscribers, new people. I don't know how y'all finding me, but thank you for subscribing. Follow me over on Instagram at Inspired by Ari. But welcome, thank you. I'm just so happy and grateful to be alive. Amen to that. On top of that, um, you see the air. <laughs> quarantine what? Quarantine bay? Quarantine fine? Anyways, let me stop bullshitting. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> welcome back to my channel for real. Um, today is Friday. <laughs> I'm just so happy to be here with y'all with these good ass vibes, this good ass energy. Yeah, I'm gonna clean my so I hold change lipsticks for my lipstick to look like this. No, pause again. Okay, so fist time's a charm. Anyway, story time. So so I was up and I'm like, let me be productive for real. And I'm like, I'm just start cleaning my room. So I clean my room a little bit. Then I got out my notepad, started writing down all my ideas, my business plans and stuff like that. My money making schemes, my bright ideas. And I have some sewing projects that I was supposed to been do for mad long. So since I'm up, and what's so beautiful about being up early in the morning is the atmosphere and the environment is so much more calmer because a lot of people are sleeping. So it's really a great time to hone in, focus in, meditate a little bit, and just get done whatever you need to get done. So I may start waking up around 4 a.m. because I went on Instagram and I'm like, you know, I made a little post on my story like, oh, we back in the stew. I call my sewing section my office my studio oh you about to lay down some tracks asshole no silly but i've been up since 4 a.m y'all 4 a.m just get up earlier is truly astonishing so i was up i got to work on some creative projects i got to jot down some you know ideas you know that i've been having which is really good to write stuff down because obviously when we forget too it's good when you accidentally find an old notebook notepad and you revisit like journals or diaries or logs or aspirations that you wrote down because it's a good way to track your progress to see have i obtained these things am i still working towards these goals shit i even forgot i wanted this at one point you know what i'm saying so that's really dope um yes i'm just writing stuff down i'm just being as productive as i can be i go on instagram i make a post on my story with one of my um my projects and then i hit up my good good friend mona hey boo i hit up my good good friend mona she lives in dallas is it houston dallas she lives in houston she lives in houston texas and you know i went on the 2020 girls trip with her in atlanta well, we met up there and it was a super dope experience, but we had always been following each other on social media, even prior to Atlanta. So we definitely kept in touch, which I already knew we was going to do because, you know, she's such a good soul, like a sweetheart. I love Mona. Go over. I'm going to try to link her business under my page, under this video, but go on the mission. And so on Instagram, I'm going to try to link her Instagram as well as her website for her website. But she makes like sea moss. She makes sea moss capsules. She has the sea moss jelly, which is raw sea moss. Like she has Yanni pearls. She's getting into Yanni steaming. Like sis is really on her holistic health. She's my Dr. Sebi, for real. So I really love her. And, you know, we was up at five, six o'clock this morning on FaceTime. Cause I'm like, you know, I have all these ideas, but I don't really know where to start. Like a lot, like a lot of people, some of us have really good money making ideas and some of us don't. Some of us are more action packed where we are more prone to just act on certain things. Some people are planners, some people are visionaries. I'm more of a visionary person. Like I know how shit will work. I could see it in my mind, but when it comes to putting it down on paper and actually executing, I needed a little help. And even because of COVID, like, I realized a lot of things about myself. One, I realized that I can no longer be an island. <laughs> this is one of the times where, like, usually I'm such an introvert, so I don't mind being home. I don't mind being by myself. I'm so used to it. But 
now it's kind of like I want to be around people. I like I want the support of people. Maybe because now I have like great people in my life, so I kind of want to be around them all the time. But I still give myself space as well as give other people space to you know work on themselves and just breathe. Because we can't be up under people all day every day. Like we gotta give each other a break. But you know I'm just so blessed because this whole epidemic or pandemic has really caused me to see like who is in my corner and i have mad like i have a handful of really dope ass people who fuck with me that i fuck with and it's good vibes it's good times good energy we could laugh we could be serious we could brainstorm so this morning was all about a big brainstorm session so really what i want to encourage y'all to do like today and every day if you have at least one friend two friends three friends somebody whom you can trust somebody who has good entrepreneurial skills somebody who's either already an entrepreneur or you know they've been working on a business plan like really try to link up with these people and if you don't have someone social freaking media like i'm realizing i've been going about social media totally wrong totally wrong because i should have been networking more but you know everything does happen in the season everything happens when it's meant to happen so I'm glad that I was forced to get uncomfortable and step out of my comfort zone because now, I don't know why I didn't just bring my tripod in here. I'll be doing the most for no reason. But more of the story is now I know like I have a really good support system of people that I could really call and be like, y'all, let's join forces. Like the Power Rangers, like let's put our rings together and make this shit happen. And I think that is like the biggest blessing I learned so much today. Like, Mona, I love you. Like, I learned so much. We each teach each other. And this is what life is all about. Life is about resonating with the right people. And when you find a group of people or one person that you resonate with that you can brainstorm and bounce your ideas off of. And it, and it, it wasn't, a, oh, I don't want to give you this idea because what if you take this idea and you turn out more successful than me and da 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 And we were talking about it this morning. And, you know, a lot of people have this mentality. Like, life is a marathon. It's not a race. One. Two, we are unlimited beings. And life is unlimited. There's unlimited opportunities, money, food, resources, health. You name it. It is unlimited. Once we stop looking at everything from a lack of perspective once we stop looking at things from oh it's not enough to go around once we stop looking at things from like you know selfish but not selfish like we're supposed to be selfish but to a certain degree your selfishness should come from like self-love putting yourself first so that you're in a position to help others or pour into other people's cups yeah we need that certain level of selfishness but the savage level of selfishness that we display is like knowing that your friend or someone you know is struggling to get their business off the ground and you have a platform to where you can help network or even if you don't have a big platform you can just do word of mouth to help your friend you know because you want to see them doing good it's not about oh i'm gonna put them on so that when i need a favor later no 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 no, no. It's best when we do good things and expect nothing in return because I'm realizing you get blessed 10 freaking fold. Like for months, my intuition been telling me like, oh, you need to ask other people for help. You need to ask other people for help. God been telling me like, you need to ask other people for help and stop being so prideful and in your feelings. But it's not even that I'm always prideful or it's my ego. Sometimes my perspective or my old belief system was I don't want to bother people. Or they had to figure it out on their own, so I'm going to have to figure it out on their own. And some people really do move like that. And some people do need to learn the necessary lessons on their own. That's absolutely true. But for those who want to learn certain lessons without necessarily having to experience some of the trials and tribulations that maybe you have, you should ask. You should ask people because... Like Mona, God bless her soul. Mona is the type of person where she has a lot of information and she's very successful in her own right. And she's willing to share because she wants to see everybody good. Like we need more people like Mona. We need more people like Mona on this planet, okay? So <laughs> this video is not all about Mona, but I just want to share with y'all like our brainstorm conversation because I just feel like you can see my energy. Like I feel great. I feel good as fuck. I feel alive and well. The weather is great outside, so I'm really going to make this vlog super short because I'm trying to go enjoy my day. Okay, Pooh.
because I look so pretty and I deserve to be outside enjoying the beauty of life and you should too so yeah you know now's the time to reach out to people now's the time to start sliding in them dms not only for personal reasons but for business reasons to actually network like hey i see you got this going on i see i have this going on because for some of us who are not already entrepreneurs when we are out of time out <laughs> we are going to need to put our resources together your resources consist of your brain power your skills your resources you know, like we're going to have to work together. Not everything we can do on our own. Certain things you should be doing on your own. Like in the meantime, working on your healing. Working, working on your personal and self development. Working on creating the new version of yourself. Because we all have to shed the old version of ourselves. You know what I mean? So now is the time to work on creating the new you. The new you that you've always wanted to be. So there are no more excuses. Time is truly an illusion as I stress in all my videos, and I'm going to really elaborate on it more after I do more research, but we are evolving. So it's chase your dreams and live your best life now, or you get left behind. There's no if and buts about it. So I hope this video is super informative. Some other things that you could really do to keep yourself busy and productive, like aside from your daily household chores, like making sure your environment is clean and laundry, work on a vision board. If you got some old magazines or a printer, that you never use because you know why most people print and stuff not like that but you know you got an old printer or whatever like go and google search a bunch of images or places or things you want to do eat try people you want to meet cut it out put it on a board blackboard whiteboard piece a big ass piece of paper or put it on your wall for all i care it doesn't really matter but make a vision board and every time you walk past your vision board visualize yourself or focus on one particular thing or everything and visualize yourself already having it, being it, doing it, feeling it, going there, eating that food, married, what, whatever it is. I promise you it works. I'm going to do a whole nother video on like some of the things I manifested over the years because it's been a lot, a lot. And there's a lot of stuff that I like put on my vision board from 2010 that I probably just got like within the last two to three years. So we'll talk more about that. Anyways, hope my video was helpful. Thank you for watching. Till next time. Peace.